Now time for the 888 Sport Silly Isles Novices Chase. And we're looking at number one, that's Steffi Desoy, of course, was the triumph winner from two seasons ago. He was second in the dipper last time when maybe he might have hit the front a little bit too soon. It'll be interesting to see if Barry Geraghty rides him differently, conserving him a bit longer. Um, he's rematching with Lost in Translation, who, of course, is immediately behind. That's number three, who uh, runs for Colin Tizard, the winner of the Dipper last time, uh, and one of the pace angles potentially in this race, and he showed improved form over fences so far this season. If we go around to the left-hand side, we can pick up Mulhayes Hill, who runs for the first time since having a wind operation. He was second at Bangor behind Jerry's back over this trip and uh, ran pretty well there. The testing ground is going to be a positive for him. He could be pressing the pace. Then behind that we have the unbeaten Vindication, a superb horse, and you'll see David Bass about to get hold, get on board this six-year-old. He was a really fine winner, measuring his fences really nicely at Ascot last time, um, and he is putting his unbeaten record on the line here. He's only ever raced right-handed, and he does so again today. And then the final horse we have to talk about is just on the left there, and that is Del Oro, who was a winner, showing improved form. The last twice, really, fourth in a race that's working out really well at Kempton behind Glen Forser, and then following up in a novice handicap chase at Huntingdon last time. He's going markedly up in grade here, of course, uh, and it's the first time he'll ever have faced Sandown, which can require quite a bit of balletic grace from a chaser. But they are then down at the start. Can't wait for this 888 Sports Silly Isles Novices Chase, this grade one over two miles. For reminder, it's soft, good to soft in places on that chase course. Vindication, six to four. Lost in translation, nine to four. Deffy do sell, 11 to four. 16's a bigger, the final pair. And he's just trimmed into 11 to eight. Vindication heading the betting ahead of this fascinating contest. All yours, Lydia. Yeah, this is the race I was most looking forward to here at Sandown, and that's a strong field, some really excellent racing here. Vindication, who jumped so well, he just reached for the first Ascot, and David Bass said afterwards that really concentrated his mind and caused him to jump really well, respect the obstacles, which he did. He measured them really nicely, he can go long or short, he's pretty clever. He also finds plenty in a finish, we've seen that before, we saw it on the flat, on the, over hurdles rather, when he beat Champ uh, in his novice hurdling season. So he has got entries in the RSA Insurance Chase and also the JLT at the Cheltenham Festival, and he is and beaten now in six starts and he'll be towards the four but he'll be comfortable if uh, another horse wants to go on one of the features of his running is how comfortable he seems to be jumping upside other horses lost in translation and deputy so he finished first and second in the dipper chase on new year's day at cheltenham um, on that occasion it looks as though deputy so was traveling the better and he hit the front after getting a good jump at the second last and maybe that meant that he got to the front a little bit too soon and lost in translation was able to get by him or it could have just have been that Lost in Translation got by him on merit. It'll be interesting to see, though, if those tactics are changed around by Barry Geraghty. Angus McNay was mentioning that earlier today. He, he suspects that that's going to be the case. This horse, of course, were, Deputy Soy, was unbeaten in his juvenile season over hurdles, culminating in winning the triumph. He then ran poorly on both of his starts over hurdles last season, and initially over fences, it looked as though um, he hadn't, wasn't quite his old self, but the last two runs have been much more encouraging. The win at Exeter and then that second in the Dipper. Lost in Translation is a consistent horse. He's got good form against La Bagawa, the winner of the Corto Star. He then got his head in front, as I mentioned, in the Dipper the last time. And he was also good enough to be seventh in the Supreme last year. So he's quite versatile in terms of how his run style is. He can go towards the four. He can be ridden more patiently. It'll be interesting to see what Richard Johnson does with him today. He's entered in the JLT, as is Devi Desoy. Devi Desoy also entered in the Arkle. Some people felt that he looked as though he needed dropping down to two miles after that defeat in the Dipper. I wasn't quite so sure. Um, I felt that at Exeter he was suited by this trip and, and maybe that tweak in the way he's ridden would help him here. Bigger prices then, Mulcahy's Hill, who had some decent hurdling form. He was second in a chalo. Um, and then wearing the cheek pieces for the first time last time, he was second behind Jerry's back. That horse was beaten quite comfortably by uh, Vindication at Ascot. And Jerry's back was probably uh, valued for more than the margins, the bare margin when winning at, at Bangor. Uh, when he beat Mulcahy's Hill. Testing grounds are positive, though, for Warren Great runner, and uh, he will be towards the four, you would think. He has got longer-distance chase targets for the Cheltenham Festival. He's in the RSA Assurance and also in the National Hunt Chase. And then the outsider, as I mentioned, was Del Oro, the only one of this 
quintet that as yet has not got a entry at the Cheltenham Festival. Possibly something like the Close Brothers might be in their mind. He's on 139 and of course the ceiling for that race is 145. But he's shown improved form the last twice, the fourth at Kempton in a really strong race and a win in handicap company at Huntington last time. This though is a grade one. Let's enjoy this in the company of Alan Howes. And they're off for the 888 Sports Silly Isles Novices Steeplechase, this grade one over the two and a half miles. He's ridden away from the start by Cahiz Hill as they charge on down towards the first of 17 fences. It's lost in translation and Richard Johnson, he had the lead over the first from Cahiz Hill. And then Vindication, the green sleeves and cap ahead of Defi de Soy and Del Oro, quickly over fence number two. Lost in translation will lead them now to the third. From Malkahi Hill, then Vindication and Defi de Soy, and Del Oro last of the five in the very early part of the journey. So it's lost in translation at who leads. Also won the Dipper Novice Chase at Cheltenham last time when running down Defi de Soy in the closing stages. Leading here in the Silly Isles by just about two lengths to Malkahi Hill. He's had a wind operation since he last ran. Wayne Hutchinson in second spot that light blue jacket. Then Vindication is trying to make it seven wins in a row. He's won his first two starts over fences, tracking through Malkahi's Hill. Then Defi de Soy and Del Oro as they come to take the pond fence for the first time. A lost in translation leading at a steady pace from Malkahi's Hill. Defi de Soy and Vindication just about sharing third and then Del Oro as they level up towards home and go towards this plain fence before the open ditch. Lost in translation by two lengths. To Markai Hill in second from Vindication more towards the stand side approaching the open ditch now. Then Defi de Soy and Del Oro will safely over that one and they'll come up by the post with a lap to go. Lost in translation leading then from Markai Hill in second. Defi de Soy, former triumph hurdle winner Racing there in a share for third with a promising vindication to the outside of him. And then Del Oro, the Huntingdon winner from last time three weeks ago, last of the quintet under Josh Moore. So climbing the hill, it's lost in translation who leads. Has made just about every step so far from Mulcahy's Hill, running there in second place. From Defi de Soy and vindication there, third and fourth. And Del Oro still last. Down the side they head then. I make the way down towards fence number seven of the 17 all told. Lost in translation from Malkahi Hill. And then Defi de Soy coming to this next plain one on the downhill run from Vindication and then Del Oro at fence number seven. All safely over. Lost in translation out in front to Defi de Soy and Malkahi Hill. And then Vindication back in fourth in front of Del Oro as they go down the back and head towards the first of seven fences. Lost in translation, measuring up fence number eight, comes to it, pops over safely, from Defi de Soy in second, Malkahi's Hill ridden along on the landing side, Vindication moving up to grab third over another plain one now, Del Oro the back marker, as they make the way towards the next fence, it will be a ditch. Lost in translation, stood off that one, a fine jump there from the leader, Defi de Soy in second, and then Vindication and Makahi Hill and Del Oro out the back. Just being uh, eased up, it appeared there before the water jump. Looks like Del Oro's going to pull up before the water. So Del Oro's out of the race, has lost in translation, led them over the water jump from Defi de Soy. And then Vindication, followed by Makahi Hill. They make their way towards the first of the railway fences again. It's lost in translation into this one, a little close to it. Defi de Soy landed a little steeply, but gets away with it. Didn't really check the momentum. Vindication is behind him. Then Malkahi's Hill over that penultimate fence over on the back straight. Lost in translation will lead them now over what will be four from the end. From Defi de Soy in second place, traveling sweetly. Vindication now just off the bridle, just pushing and shaking along for a stride or two there was David Bass. Malkahi's Hill trying to keep tabs on the top three as they make this run towards the pond fence for the final time, and it's lost in translation who leads from Defi de Soy in second, Vindication just in behind a length and a half behind in third, then Markahi's Hill as they run towards three from the end, and it's lost in translation 
and Richard Johnson who show you the way from Deffy to Soy in second the JP Silks and Barry Geraghty vindication once again just been poked along going towards three from the end over which lost in translation still led from Deffy to Soy in second vindication shaken up in third trying to get more prominence again then Mulcahy's Hill as they turn towards home they've got two left to take and it's lost in translation into this one a little close gets away with it has momentum down towards the final fence from Deffy de Soy vindication trying to get rolling then Mokahi's Hill coming down towards the 17th and last lost in translation joined by Deffy de Soy on the landing side lost in translation and Deffy de Soy vindication back in third it's Deffy de Soy now under Geraghty lost in translation is coming back at him Deffy de Soy from lost in translation Deffy de Soy is one the Silly Isles has seen off Lost in Translation. Back in third vindication and last of four, Mulcahy Hill. Well, it promised much. It's delivered plenty. A fascinating edition of the Silly Isles. It's been won by Deffy de Soy. Despite not jumping the best, perhaps, of the three principals, he still managed to win. Barry Geraghty did hold on to him for a bit longer, as Angus was suggesting earlier on in the show. Produced him to join Lost in Translation at the last and was able to repel him up the hill. Double for Barry Geraghty on the day. Philip Hobbs, the winning trainer. Lost in Translation is second. He jumped really well for Richard Johnson. Just got a bit close to the second last and that made him vulnerable heading towards the last. He's just being joined after and Deffy de Soy is able to outspeed him. Vindication, you could see that David Bass wasn't entirely happy with him, even in the back straight, and he really is shaping as though a step up in trip is what's going to be required for him. The dipper form has held sway. Just a couple of quicker horses ahead of him, and although he's tried to knuckle down in the closing stages, he hasn't been able to land a blow, and maybe Kim Bailey will conclude that the RSA chase, or at least three-mile chases in future, will be the way to go. But this is a really good performance from Deffy de Soy. He really is beginning to come of age over fence and he has won the Grade 1 City Isles here, a, a, a notable double for Barry Geraghty. Philip Hobbs will be very satisfied with that performance. Just a few nudges at the fences, though, just a few things to brush up, but he is certainly beginning to shine as a novice chaser. Certainly is, yes, and uh, a, a more stalking ride from Barry Geraghty, just as Angus Monet suggested in our preview show on Full SP here today and that's what we got. Level weights today as well of course he was giving the second three pounds last time when beaten but that dipper form coming to the to the four uh, Vindication was back in third. Did keep on if they lie a little bit further with that horse. Uh, four from tens I'm hearing for the JLT which looks his likely target. That's with Paddy Power. Seven to two off the back of that. Of course Connections have Larish Ball going in the Arkle over at Leopardstown and indeed winter escape in the, the flow gas tomorrow. That will tell us more about this division. Lost in translation was second two to one. Vindication was the unplaced 11 to eight. Favourite all five ran in the Silly Isles. Leopardstown next we go for the 2.35. And this is the uh, grade two contest. And we're over to 